Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option Channel for UPSC Examination. In today's video, we are going to see the topic called Mega Diverse Countries. Now, this topic is very important from the UPSC preliminary examination point of view because many a times the question were asked on these topics. As you know that the biodiversity and environment is quite an important topic from the preliminary examination point of view. So, in this video lecture, we are going to cover the mega diverse countries. Let us see first of all what are these mega diverse countries. Now, this image showing the world map and the and those are parts which are shown in a green color are the mega diverse countries. Now, all these mega diverse countries acquired the status of mega diverse country upon fulfilling some criteria. That is, first of all, the mega diverse countries title were given by the Conservation International Organization. All right. So the Conservation International is the international body which gives the status of mega diverse countries to the country if they fulfill this certain type of criteria. Now, this Conservation International is established in 1987 and located in the USA. All right. Then, what are the criteria to be the mega diverse countries? The Conservation International gives much importance to the endemic species you may have know about this endemic species are those are species which are restricted to the certain part of the world only that is they have very restricted habitat and only that habitat is quite favorable for their growth and that is why they become endemic that is they are not widespread throughout the world now conservation international specially try to conserve these endemic species so actually those are countries which have the 5000 species of endemic plants or animals are eligible to be the mega diverse country plus that country should have its border with marine ecosystem so depending upon these are two criteria that is if the number of endemic species in that country is 5000 or more plus if the country has the marine ecosystem at its border then that country is eligible for the mega diverse country so According to the Conservation International, there are total 17 countries which are the mega diverse countries. From examination point of view, you should remember that the mega diverse countries title were given by the Conservation International. It is established in 1987. Plus, it has a criteria of endemic species and marine ecosystem at the border. And so far, we have 17 mega diverse countries. So, let us see which countries got the mega diverse title. Now, first, here we have the Australia, then Brazil, then China, Colombia, Congo, Ecuador, India, Indonesia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Mexico, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines, South Africa, United States, and Venezuela. So these are the 17 countries which has the title of mega diverse countries. All right. So you should remember carefully all the names of these 17 countries. Now these are numbers that is the 1, 2, 3, 4 are given alphabetically. That is why the Australia come to the first place. But it is not necessary. You can remember them randomly. All right. So these are the 17 countries which has the status of mega diverse countries and conservation international try to conserve the many endemic species in all these 17 countries so the conservation efforts of the conservation international is typically concentrated in these 17 countries so it is very important that you should remember first three to four points plus the names of these 17 countries as you know in the upsc preliminary examination they may give you the list of a country and will ask which of the following is not coming under the mega diverse countries. So you should carefully remember the names of all these 17 mega diverse countries. All right. So thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching this. See you in the next one.